Hi, welcome back to yet more coverage from Computex 2012. In terms of motherboards, the best one you can probably buy is Intel's X79, and ASRock claims to have the best one on the market. I'm here with Han. Han, you've got the Extreme 11 just up there, yes. and you're pretty excited about it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Explain why. Okay, uh, the first thing for the X79 Extreme 11, we call this motherboard is the most powerful one. Okay, the first, you can, you can see there's a two PLX from this motherboard, on this motherboard. At least two PLX is PX87, 47 chips. With this two PLX, uh, the four-way SLI, the four graphic card can run at by 16. Okay, just a recap there, because X79 is Intel's highest end consumer platform. Yes. It's got plenty of lanes from the CPU anyway. Yeah. But to make sure that every single card's got as much bandwidth as possible, you put two bridge chips on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so, okay, that's going to cost money, but it seems <laughs> like money's no object on this board. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've got full graphics capability. Yeah. What else have you got? And we put an LSI SAS chip on this motherboard. So this motherboard can support a SAS port. Uh, so we can connect like eight, eight SSD on this motherboard and to build the RAID. And the performance I can show you later. Okay, so I'm looking at it now. You got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Here. almost, yeah, eight. eight. How many ports in total have you got? Uh, how many what? Ports. How many total SATA ports have you got on this board? Uh, uh, we, we have, uh, you can see here, we have a SAS port. This SAS port can support SATA 3 as well. Right. And the four SATA 2. Okay, so the LSI controller gives you eight SAS stroke SATA ports yes. for m maximum speed. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so what else have you got? Keep going. Yeah, and we have, uh, um, because this being a uh, toughest motherboard of our product, uh, we put the audio. Uh, it's a creative a sound core 3D audio. This is a four core audio processor. And this one is good. And later I can show you the benchmark result. Okay, so a quad core audio processor. Yes, yes, it's a creative sound core 3D. Okay, yeah. keep the features coming. What else have you got? Yeah, this motherboard adopts 24 plus two power phase design. It's mainly for overclocker, yeah. 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 And before we get over to the board and see it in action, can you tell me how much it's gonna cost? Uh, currently, it's still, still no price information because it's still under development, yes. Okay, Han, we're going to move over to the board over there okay. and just see it working. Okay, sure. Okay, we made our way over to the board itself, chock full of features. So Han, now you've got loads and loads of components on this. Yeah, yeah, Again, yeah. talk us through exactly what's on it. Okay, uh, the reason why we call this motherboard is the most powerful platform. As you can see, this four graphic card right now is running four-way SLI. All the graphic card is running at by 16 mode. So you can see the 3D Mark 11 benchmark extreme mode can easily Break the 10,000 score, yeah. Um, assuming that you couldn't run 4x16, yeah. assuming it was 4x8, for example, yeah. how much more performance does this give in a real world context, having full bandwidth PCI Express lanes? Uh, currently, I have no comparison for this one, yeah, but I, I don't have that. But hey, it's, it's better, right? Yeah, it's surely better, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, we believe that enthusiasts will love le this feature because nobody like the, you know, uh, 50% of the bandwidth, yeah. Sure, and you spoke earlier about having lots and lots of SAS yeah. stroke SATA. Yes, so how yes. many drives have you got connected to this and just how quick yeah. are they? Uh, right now we are connected A, A data SSD. This is SSD, SSD is the most powerful one from A data. So you can see the IO meter, the benchmark on the screen. Uh, Right now, the transfer speed is 3.5 gigabyte per second, which means if you want to copy a DVD file, only need 1.34 second to copy a DVD file. So very, very fast. Okay, that's about the fastest I've ever yeah. seen. And you were talking earlier again about the sound being better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see the audio benchmark here, all are excellent. So including the graphic card, audio, and the data transferring, this motherboard can do the best. So is this the best X79 motherboard on the market? Uh, in August, we believe in it. we can launch this motherboard in August. Yeah. And go on, give me a price. Just tell us the <laughs> price. Uh, it's really hard, but uh, uh, this model would be, would be the most is expensive one um, from ASRAC, yeah. Does this one have Thunderbolt or not? Yes, yes, we have Thunderbolt motherboard, so maybe we can... Okay, yeah. we're going to walk on over to the Thunderbolt equipped motherboard, just over there. Okay, Hans, so Thunderbolt is the watchword, the in-word for high-end motherboards. Yes, yes. Almost everyone's got their implementation, but you were telling me earlier that you believe yours is the best. Yes. Now, why is that? 
because this motherboard is the world's first four-channel Thunderbolt motherboard, which can support two Thunderbolt ports. Yeah, only four-channel Thunderbolt can support two Thunderbolt ports. And uh, with two Thunderbolt ports, you can use onboard um, graphic and the discrete graphic, ca graphic card at the same time via Thunderbolt output. Okay, so run that by me again. You've got two Thunderbolt ports on it. Yes, yes. Made possible by you saying it's four-channel. Yeah. You've also got a discrete card, and you're saying that the IGP works as well. Yes, yes. And right now we are demoing is that uh, playing a video from the red box via Thunderbolt, and uh, after calculating from here and via Thunderbolt display on the monitor. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, right now we are using a discrete, discrete card here, right? You can see there is a cable here. This is a display port. And display port in, we have to build a display port in the motherboard and go out from Thunderbolt output. Yeah. Okay, so the video is coming from the discrete card yes. via display port out yes. into the Thunder port. Thunderbolt even, yeah, and yeah. out to the screen. Yeah, so uh, there are some other Thunderbolt motherboard, they only have a Thunderbolt port, but with has no display port in, which means their motherboard cannot use this discrete card, only on board graphic card. So, you know. Okay, Han, I'm getting the idea that you think this board's pretty good. Yeah, we haven't named good. it so far, so which one is it? Uh, How much will it be, and when's it available? I think also in August, and uh, I still don't have the price, but the price should be similar uh, with our Z77 Extreme 6. Okay. Yes. And thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. So that's ASRock. They've got two very high-end boards coming out in August, and they probably cost thick end of $500. But going by the features, and just what's shown here, they may well be worth it to the enthusiast.